Hey everybody, Casual Movie Guy back here. Sorry for the lack of videos lately, I've just been a little bit busy. But today I am reviewing Run All Night. <laughs> Alright, so if you haven't seen the trailers for this movie, it stars Liam Neeson and Ed Harris. And I think both of them do a really good job in this movie. That is one of the strong points of this movie. It is uh, very well acted by mostly everybody in this movie. I think uh, everyone did a pretty good job. And they did a good job of portraying their character as well, and especially Ed Harris. I really liked Ed Harris's character in this movie. I think he's a, he did a very good job. Uh, some of the other strong points is the action was filmed well. Uh, maybe a little too much slow-mo for me. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of slow-mo, except for films like The Matrix that do it very well. But uh, overall, the action scenes were filmed very well. Uh, the chase scenes, I think, were strong. Overall, good direction style. My only problem with the directing is that there were some shots... Um, where it would, instead of fading away or cutting to the next scene, it would zoom out, uh, kind of like over top of the city, uh, zoom across and then zoom back into another area to kind of... I give the director props for trying something new, but visually it just, it, it didn't appeal to me. Uh, I, it kind of hurt my eyes a little bit. Uh, not that it gave me like motion sickness or anything, but it just, it didn't appeal to me personally. But overall, everything else about the directing I think did good. So there was good directing, good acting. Uh, I liked the raw, gritty look that the film had. You know, most of it, it took place overnight because the film's name is Run All Night. So, you know, it had a dark, gritty edge to it, which, you know, added a lot to the film. Uh, the plot of this film is pretty good. I think it's the best movie that Liam Neeson has done since the original Taken film. Uh, definitely the strongest plot. It wasn't action every five minutes like most of Liam Neeson's movies are nowadays. There was a lot of tension and strong dialogue between characters that really led up to the final climactic moments. And in a, in a movie like this, that really you know adds to it. It gives it a sense that it is a true thriller. Uh, personally, I think this is a movie that you, you don't have to see in the theater, but it is not a waste of money or time. If you want to go see in the theater, I uh, recommend you do so because everything's better in the theater. Of course it is. I may say sometimes, you know, don't see a movie in the theater, but that's just for money purposes, for financial purposes. But every movie, of course, is going to be better in the theater. This movie will probably be better in the theater because it is a thriller slash action movie, and those are always the best in theater experiences. But I definitely think that you guys should check this one out. If you're a fan of Liam Neeson, you're going to love it. If you only like Liam Neeson when he's kicking ass all the time, you might, it might not be your favorite because there's not too much of it in this movie. You know, he still kicks ass, but... That's one of my favorite. That's probably my favorite thing in this movie is that he doesn't feel like a god. There are some times when I truly, you know, felt sympathetic and feared for Liam Neeson's character. And another thing about his character in this movie is he wasn't, you know, idolized as much as his previous characters, like in Taken. Uh, in this movie, he is not a good guy. He's kind of a scumbag, let down of a dad, and he's a deadbeat, which, you know, really, not makes me, you know, kind of relate to his character because I, you know, I'm 17. I'm not a dad or anything like that. But it just it makes you feel more for him than in, you know, movies like Nonstop, where they just tried to force it. This movie, it just kind of naturally flowed, and you cared about his character, even though maybe you didn't think he was a good guy. You, you still cared for him. Um, I think his son did a good job in this movie, the guy who played his son. Uh, like I said, good acting overall. It, the film looked good. It had a good look to it. I liked their raw, gritty look, as I said. So the visuals were good. Directing and acting were all pretty solid. Uh, the only thing that I have to say that I didn't like is, that, like, like I said, too much slow-mo. I did not like those uh, zooming in and zooming out shots that it had. Uh, also, like I said, not a lot of action. I would have liked a little bit more. Not to say that there was, uh, you know, it was a plethora of slow moments, but there was a lot of slow moments in this movie. And I would just like a little bit more action. And I would like to see more scenes between Ed Harris and Liam Neeson because best parts of this movie when when they're having dialogue between each other uh well written well acted uh overall if i'm going to give this movie a score i'm probably going to give it a 7 out of 11. like i said if you really want to check this movie out i strongly recommend you see it in the theater if not you know rent it when it comes out uh pick it up on blu-ray this is a type of movie that if you know if it's a rainy day or there's nothing really to do with a day in the summer or something like that you got a free day on the weekend or something you could pop it in and have a good time watching it uh, like I said, probably the best Liam Neeson movie since Taken, in my opinion at least. Uh, I hope he does more movies like this where it's not action every five seconds. It's, you know, there's actual good dialogue and it's a well-written plot. If so, I think Liam Neeson can climb, up, climb back up the ladder to be one of the main stars of today. 
I don't think there's really anything else to say. Uh, I hope to see The Gunman this weekend, which stars Sean Penn, and it's from the director of the first Taken. So I hope that it's going to be good. It's going to have like aspects of Taken because I enjoyed Taken very much. But I hope it has its own identity as well, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, I'll see Cinderella soon if I can find someone to go with me because I am not going to see Cinderella by myself. That just, that seems sad. Anyway, nothing much left to say today. I am the Casual Movie Guy. If you want to hear more from me, you should definitely hit that subscribe button, and I'm out.